In other reality show news, it was Bachelorette finale night here on ABC. <laughs> the Bachelorette was in... In Greece, the cradle of Western civilization, which is ironic for a show that may be the end of it. <laughs> Hannah had to decide tonight between Tyler and Jed. Both men met her on a mountaintop, rings in hand, proposals ready to go, and this is how that went for Tyler. I started falling in love with you the first moment I got to hold you and dance with you and have you in my arms on our first date. Tyler. Isn't it? <laughs> Let me tell you something. <it's... laughs> Whether you're on a date or a raft, that sound is not ever a good sign. <laughs> so Hannah chose Jed, the singer songwriter, which is notable because Jed is the guy I predicted she would choose before the season started. I said, Hannah will pick Jed. Hannah did, and I've now correctly picked six out of the last eight winners on The Bachelorette and six of the last seven winners on The Bachelor. Thank you. Rose Stradamus is now 12 and 3. I have a gift. There's, I have a gift. There's not, and, and that gift, by the way, is my wife, who actually makes these predictions for me. So <laughs> Jed proposed to Hannah, and it all seemed fine until Jed's secret girlfriend told her story to People magazine. Jed dated this woman for four months, right up until he went to be on The Bachelorette. They even spent the night together, the night before he left to do the show. He told the girl he was going on the show to promote his music career, which is dumb. The Bachelorette is where music careers go to die. I mean, if you see the... <laughs> going on The Bachelorette to promote your music career is like going on The Voice to find a wife. It doesn't make sense. But to me, this is the moment when Hannah should have known this wasn't going to end well. You've supported me, you've loved me, you've challenged me, you've moved me, and it's made me love you so, so much. Okay, now, <laughs> let's look at that again, and at the end, watch his face. It's made me love you so, so much. <laughs> In poker, they call that a tell, so... <laughs> The engagement is off, even earlier than they're usually off. And what hurts the most is that Jed was only in it for the publicity, which who could have predicted that? It's like finding out your Uber driver's only in it for the money. What about <laughs> your love of picking me up and driving me places? <laughs> Jed did show up at the After the Final Rose special, and what a, a round of applause he got from the crowd. Are you ready for this? I am. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Jed. By the way, thanks, thanks for putting my face on the screen right in the middle of that. So, well, anyway, if you watch The Bachelorette tonight instead of the debate, congratulations. The country is doomed because of you. But for those who can't get enough, here now to tell even more all than the last time she told all, it's time for a very special After the After the After the Final Rose with Hannah. Say hello to Hannah. <laughs> You've been, you've had a lot of couch time tonight, I know. Yeah. This is nice. Yes, isn't it beautiful? Oh, look at that. Everyone loves you. So, I don't, I, first, before we get to you, let's start with me. Because okay. I predicted your final four would be Luke P. Bad, by the way. <laughs> Peter, Jed, and Tyler G. I was wrong on Tyler G. It turned out to be Tyler C. But C and G are almost the same letter. Basically the same. Really? So, yeah. anyway, and then, well, let's see who I picked. Let's go back to that very night you were here on the show. I believe that the man you wind up with is... I forgot which one is which. <laughs> is Jed! That's right. And just for the record, I was right. You did pick Jed. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong, but I was right. <laughs> That, yeah, that yeah. did happen. Really, my wife was Bad right. omen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fine. Yeah, and so, okay, so we all know what happened. We all saw the whole thing er earlier tonight. And then they bring Tyler out, and instantly you see that. Did you feel like when he came out, where you are like, oh, boy, I wish I'd, I'd picked him instead? Um, God, I can't really say I... You can tell me, but you're among <laughs> friends. Yeah. I mean, I definitely had feelings for him, too, mm -hmm. so, um... 
I don't want to say that. I mean, uh -huh. I, I grew. I got. I became a lot stronger of a woman through all that I went through. So I don't want to say I regret it. But he is pretty great. Yeah. And so tonight we saw you said maybe we can go out for a drink or something. Mm -hmm. Did you have a drink on your way over here? <laughs> I didn't have quite enough time to even order one from the bartender. Right. So when is the drink going to happen? Do we know? I mean, I just talked to him for the first time. I know, so. I know. But listen, we demand action. It's like we yeah. have no, you know, your whole courtship went, you know, was all over and done with in like six weeks, right? So we want that drink. We want you to get married and have a baby on television or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Listen, we're going to start with the drink first. And okay. I, I'll let you know when. You'll be the first to know. How relieved was your dad when you told him <laughs> that you broke up with Jed? Because your dad was worried about him being able to make a living. He said, oh, don't worry. I wrote a dog food jingle, and, um, and it's, this yeah, is going to work out fine. He was pretty concerned about the jingle business. But mm -hmm. um, <laughs> no, I actually called my mom the other day uh, to tell her like some news, and she was like, Oh, don't tell me you're back with that boy. And, oh, really? Uh, my dad goes, oh, hell no. And oh, I was really? Like, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, Did you ever get to hear the dog food jingle? Uh, yes, I did. You did? <laughs> did Dad ever get to hear the dog food jingle? <laughs> I, I don't think my dad really wanted Well, maybe anything. that would have been what won him over, I guess. <laughs> so, okay, so here we are now, and this is all, I mean, uh, you're in a state of flux now. You yeah. picked one guy, and who do you think should be the bachelor? Do you have any thoughts on that? Because a lot of people would think it might be Tyler, but now it can't uh... be Tyler because you're going for drinks with him. <laughs> I mean, we'll see where the drinks go, but, uh... Right, well, they go in the mouth, and then, you know... <laughs> sometimes if you have too many of them, they come back out the mouth. We don't want that, but... Um, it's so weird picking The Bachelor from my ex-boyfriends, but, um... Do you think of them as your ex-boyfriends? <laughs> Why do you think of them as people who were on a show you were also briefly on? <laughs> of it that way. Yeah, yeah, oh. think of it that way, because that is the way. Yeah. That's what... <laughs> These men were not your boyfriends. They, a casting director found them and brought them to you, and you kicked most of them off, right? I did do that. So yeah. I guess... I mean, I thought uh, Peter was <laughs> really great. Peter seemed real good, yeah. Yeah, Mike's great. Uh-huh. Um, I you... want them to have happiness, so... Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe it'll work out better for them than it did for me. Well, listen, maybe it but did like work I, out for but you. But I'm getting dreams. Hey, so it's we'll good see. that you found out this out sooner rather than later. Yeah. And let's be honest, most of these things don't work out anyway. So you kind of like accelerated the whole process. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I'm trying to find some silver lining in yeah, all of this. I, yeah. I'm well, go the with silver that. lining is everyone in America hates Jed. <laughs> I don't want him to hate him. Well, they do. <laughs> And most importantly of all, really, is that we picked the right guy again. And my record is just unbelievably sterling. And I do have to credit my wife for that. And may I also say that if you have any other major life decisions you're thinking about, run them, feel free to run them by us, you OK? Can, yeah. But yeah. you also picked <laughs> I didn't pick him. I predicted you would pick him. I have, I have refused to have sex with the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank okay. you for being here, Hannah. I'm, I'm glad this worked out for you in, in a really, really roundabout way. Yeah. I hope drinks with Tyler go well. Me, me too. We'll <laughs> you see. You should probably just have a lot of them, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey. That's Hannah, everybody, the former Bachelorette. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.